So new information this morning, but still no sign of a missing mother of three out of Cohasset, Massachusetts. But we have learned chilling discoveries investigators made as they searched Anna Walsh's home over the weekend. Yeah, that prompted the arrest of her husband seen here in this video, Brian Walsh. She appeared in a courtroom yesterday as the search for Anna has shifted to a new location. Kate Walsh is live in studio with an update on the investigation. Well, as of late last night, this was the focus of the investigation here, a trash transfer station in Peabody. We're learning more about where police say Brian Walsh was on New Year's Day. The first day Anna was missing, even though she, he didn't report her gone until January 4th. Brian Walsh was under house arrest awaiting sentencing in a federal fraud case from a few years ago. He got special permission to leave the house on New Year's Day to bring his mother home to Swampscott. Investigators were seen outside his mother's home yesterday, eventually towing the dumpster from there to the Peabody transfer station. Meanwhile, Brian Walsh is behind bars on half a million dollars cash bail. Now, if he's able to post the bail, he would then be considered a violator in his federal ongoing case. At Walsh's arraignment Monday, prosecutors say they found blood and a bloody knife in the basement of the Walsh home and that he was seen on surveillance cameras at a Home Depot in Rockland on January 2nd. He's on surveillance at that time, purchasing about $450 worth of cleaning supplies. That would include mops, bucket, tops, um, TVEX, uh, drop cloths, uh, as well as various kinds of tape. Walsh pleaded not guilty to the charges related to misleading police in the investigation. We've also learned from our CBS, CBS partner in Boston that evidence has been found in the trash related to Anna's disappearance. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.